with myself That's the way I wanna be Laughing with myself That's the brightest side of me Hey everyone, happy Easter. <laughs> I don't know, that sounded so gloomy the way I said it. My voice could, it's so interesting. Sometimes it sounds so joyful and sometimes it sounds like the saddest human alive. <laughs> ah, ha ha. I emailed some agents, okay, regarding a cartoon I'm gonna go voice over. And I got the automatic email, you know, it said, um, uh, like the, uh, what is it? Ah, where was it? I don't know. It's just like that automated email that goes, we are not here right now because of the observance of the holiday and we'll be gone next week. And it's just, you know, I, I get it, but also... I imagine that person, the assistant or something, like, you don't care. You're probably just like farting around town. We really are taking it serious. Like you're, I don't know, who knows? I'm just, that's just me judging. I know I'll be farting around Easter morning. <laughs> now I actually, actually do want to go with my dad to church because um, it's actually been his New Year's resolution and he's been going every Sunday. And, uh, look, I was raised Catholic. Yeah, I don't really do a lot of following that path, but I do have some saint prayers. I do, you know, I dabble. But, at the, it, you know, where I'm at, is this, if, my, if my parents, if it, whatever makes them happy and if I could support and, and you know, accompany them to things, I think that's beautiful. Uh, yesterday, actually, I crashed in my parents' house, and in the morning, my mom was like, come with me to my my, my my workout class. And I've been wanting to go for a while, and guys, it was so cute. Uh, I was at a senior center in, in a park in Whittier, and um, I, I knew a few of her friends, and I'm just, I was truly... Like, really, really proud of... I, I told my mom, too, I'm really proud of her because she gets herself there to work out, I think, five days a week. Uh, it's a mix of, like, workout, Zumba classes, dance. Oh, well, that is dance. But I think there's a, other forms. But, yeah. And she's just sweaty. And then she had these... She, she's tough. I was kind of on the right behind her, and there was these kicks that you had to do behind you, these backward kicks... And her kicks were like, I was like, oh, I got to back up. This lady, she might, it was, she has some power in her. She's powerful. And I was like, hell yeah. I'm just, I think that's awesome. And I could see like, that's where I get my fierceness. Like for my mama. She's tough. She's cool. Guys, you know what I was thinking about the other day? I, I don't know. This is just a, another one of my kid thoughts when I was a kid. I had this memory of, Remember how simple it was back in the day? You Like the highlight of some of my days were just finding a blimp in the sky, like a Goodyear blimp. And just, you know, talking to my brothers or sisters and just being like, do you see the blimp? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Cool. And you just go to sleep and that was the day. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I ever talk about on here. Um, I do have some thing to share with you guys. I pitched my sitcom to all the networks. Well, you know, the main the main hubs. ABC, NBC, Fox, CBS, Netflix, HBO, and everyone passed. I'm bummed, but I've been in this journey so long that I know very well timing is everything. And that it, it, for things I don't know, I just go, all right. And I, and I kind of I have this little feeling and sense within me that there's, you know what I, I was feeling? And not with the, the sitcom pitch. Actually, I think that would have been such a fun show. Um, 
Which it's it's basically the hour I've been doing on stage, the the hour that I'm going to tape for my special, which is now May first, Bob Baker Marionette Theater. So if you're in LA, there's going to be two tapings that night. I would love to have my my bestest fans there, my good pals, Wolves of Glendale. They're going to open the show, warm it up with their hilarious songs, and they're going to accompany with my me and the Spanish song we wrote at the end of the show. So it's going to be a magical night. Um, that's all I'm going to say. But anyway, so the, the, the sitcom was based on the hour, which is, um, a show about a girl that, um, based on me of making a dream happen, a big sketch show and coming back home to Whittier, not having any money and living at my parents' house. (laughs) And it's me. And it's basically the relationship with my mom and I, which is always such a, a tough, beautiful relationship but uh just being such opposites in the house and um that little me trying to figure out what to do after such a big accomplishment and yeah it was filled with a lot of love and honesty and and hilarity but you know you keep floating you keep going what are you gonna do but uh yeah but i still you know, I still took the time to write some thank you cards to everyone that believed in me at Warner Brothers and my good friends, Melissa Rausch and her production company and, and my two good friends who helped me create the, 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 the pitch and the characters and outline of the show. And, you know, felt good to still do that because regardless, we spent like, a, I think, a year of putting the time into it. Um, but yeah, and you know, I could spiral. There were a little, mo- and in therapy, I did let it out with my therapist. You know, there's a little, I was just like, okay, let it rip, you know? Like, there's so many fucking stupid shows! <laughs> I was trying to do a guitar riff, <laughs> but just, you're like, what the hell? There's so much dumb shit out there. But, yeah, no. That's just how it is. Sorry, I'm just picking the the little, the crunchy old leaves off my little plant here. Like that sound? Those ASMR videos. (laughs) I don't like those. I was in my Pilates class. You know, I go weekly. Last week, I was giggling a little bit in class because there was a new girl in Pilates and her name was Tipper. Tipper. Yeah. I don't know what parent out there was like, you know what? I want to name her Tipper. That's a beautiful name, babe. I love Tipper. You like Tipper? I do. Mm I knew it was her name because our teacher, she has this headset and we hear her in our headphones for what, you know, what positions and moves we're supposed to do. And she keeps, she kept like guiding Tipper, you know, she was like, Tipper, there you go, Tipper, put the right arm over there. There you go, Tipper. And I wanted to be like, careful, Tipper, don't tip over. You don't need to laugh at that. Just don't. It's dumb. The other day, well, the day, you know, the last day that I found out my my show wasn't picked up by anyone. I treated myself. I picked, I went to a diner and picked up a shake, chocolate shake to go. And, um, delicious, by the way. I haven't had a cho- chocolate shake in a minute, so it was really good. And she was like, you want whipped cream in there? I'm like, fuck yeah, I do. No, 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 no. I, I eat that first. I don't mix it in there. I just, uh, eat it first and then, you know. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I thought of, because you know when you go to diners, when they give you the shake, they always give you the extra in that tin can. Um, which, by the way, whenever you go to a diner with your friend and there's always that extra in the tin can and your friend, oh, she or he, didn't, they didn't want to order a shake. That's okay. I'm okay. They're always like, well, can I have the tin? And you're like, bitch, that's my extra. No, you can't. 
But I just thought of that'd be funny if I was like, you know, with the to go shake at the diner, if I go, where's the extra? And they're like, what are you talking about? Well, the diners always have the tin. So where that extra at? Who you give it to? No one. It's not, it's in there. Mm hmm. What if I just gave a, did a, that, <laughs> gave a fit? No, I had plenty. Don't worry. Um, I was, uh, man, I gotta be careful alone. I was trying to push my treadmill. I know. I'm asking for it. I gave it a push because it was on a weird diagonal. Pulled my back. Always the same spot where I get my back spasm. <sighs> but thankfully my mom's workout class with her friends in Whittier helped me loosen up my back and I feel a lot better. Took some hot baths with Epsom salt. Um, what was the, what I was going to say? Oh yeah, I kept laughing because I was alone at home. I had the back spasm and every time I would laugh or sneeze, it would attack the spasm. It hurt, it would double duty in the pain. <laughs> and I just found it funny, you know, cause sometimes I also pee a little when I sneeze. What a, what a triple, <laughs> what a triple threat that, Triple, uh, I don't know, whatever what I'm trying to say. But it was just like, it hurt the back, then the sneeze, then the pee. I'm like, this is insane. And I wish someone could witness it, you know. It's funny to me. You ever look at your phone for too long, and then you look up in real life, and you're cross-eye willing it? Cross-eye willy living, that's what I wrote. You ever just cross-eye willy living? <laughs> what? One-eye willy. Isn't that it? Something? One-eyed will The Goonies. That's where I've heard it. Okay. I thought so. But anyway. Is that everything? By the way, I got this new notebook. Ah, every single time I get a brand new notebook... It starts off good, right? I'm always like, okay, this notebook is going to be for this. I'm going to write very organized in here. It's going to be really clean. And then eventually just becomes doodles and just becomes a mess. And then I'm just like, ah! It just becomes, ah! It's not organized at all. But anyway. Mm. I gotta pee. Yeah. Actually gotta go. Well, you guys are wonderful. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Happy Easter if you celebrate. Um, I don't know what else, but be good. Bye-bye. Until next week. Hasta next semana. Adios. Laughing with myself, that's the way I wanna be Laughing with myself, that's the brightest side of me